Hey everybody and welcome to the first video on my tutorial channel. Today's episode is going to be about how you can drop a item or a block or anything from like the original grass in Minecraft. I'm using mcreator2020.4 uh, so first off we're gonna actually make an item that we want to drop. Alright so now what you want to do to make um, this grass block potentially drop tomato seeds is you want to make a new procedure so you can name the procedure whatever you want you can make it grass broken for example all right so now what you want to do is you want to go out to right here and press a little plus saying local variables now under variable name you, you can call it whatever you go and then change logic to number now you want to go into custom variables and select set local random drop to. From here we're going to go into math and select the random 0 0.1. This will make it so it will randomly select a number between 0 0.1 as you can see in the screen right here and it will connect that number to our variable random drop. So random drop is going to be a number for example this up here you're gonna go down to flow control and take an if statement so under the if statement you want a and so now what you want to do is you want to go into logic and find this light blue equal thing here you want to do external inputs and then change it to and then we can want, then we can go into our logic once again and we want to take the dark blue or purple equal and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna change it to this arrow pointing to the right with a line underneath it. This means that something is either above or equal. Now you want to go into custom variables and take this get local random drop. Now you want to get a number here from the math segment and you can do whatever you want with this this is the chance of you getting it so for example you can set this we're gonna do it to 0.5 for the demonstration uh, so there's a little more frequent chance of us getting it so yeah what this does right here is that it's checking for the random drop variable variable to be either equal or above 0 0.5 and what I mean by that is remember this up here the number that is generating here has be to be above 0 0.5 for us to actually drop the seed which we're gonna get to in a moment so what we want to do now is go back into logic and take this yellow piece out here and go into Minecraft components and take this yellow piece right here so now I want to go in here and search for grass and select the tall grass and now I want to go to block procedures scroll down to the bottom and get block at X Y and Z coordinate so th what this does is that it's checking for the block at the given uh, location like the exact X, Y, and C coordinates, um, which is fine, and that block has to be tall grass. And if it's tall grass, and the number is above 0 0.5, you can also set this to 0 0.6. That gives it a smaller change of it to drop in. So we're just going to do that. <laughs> um, but if both of those criteria is correct. It will do whatever we put down here which in our case is going to be spawn gem at xyz which is under wall management so now we're going to go in here and select our tomato seeds um, but what we want to do here to get a more precise item drop is we're going to take up these xyz coordinates and we want to go to math and take this plus right here and then 
also the number here we're gonna set the numbers to 0 0.5 and then copy this then we're gonna copy that two more times and you could do you, you can do that by using control C and control V to paste it again but then you take your X Y and C coordinate and then put it back in the correct order so your X is at X and Y Y and C at C so yeah so that's going to game mode survival and let's try to break one of these so there's of course a very simple reason why that didn't work and that is of course because I forgot to set the trigger to a blockage broken okay let's go take another look at it so this time it should be working so see when we break it yeah see we get a seed, but not all the time. So if you want to ch check for any other block as well, and you can actually do that mm -hmm. by going into, first of all, logic, sorry, math, and you take out this thing again. Now we're gonna change it to, oh, go into logic, and then take out this thing right here, the light blue. We're going to change it to OR this time and then to external inputs. So we can copy this one up here because it's the exact same thing. We're going to need, except we're going to change this to a fern instead. So now when you destroy ferns, it should also have a chance of 0 0.6 of dropping it. All right, so we have a couple of um, ferns here, and you can see when we destroy those, yep, we get a decent amount of tomato seeds here. All right, so when you have your thing here, let's say you want it to maybe also drop something else, for example, beetroot seeds. Uh, you want it to be possible to get beetroot seeds from grass, then you click on this uh, little icon here uh, at the if statement and then you drag it else if underneath the if like that and then you get it down here so what you do now is you can actually just copy this one and you can move it down here as well okay so what you want to do is you want to start out um, and we're going to call it feed root up and then we're gonna change it to a number and we can take under custom variables we can drag out uh, the set local ra random drop here and we're gonna change it to a beetroot drop and then we're gonna take underneath math you're gonna take the random 0 0.1 again now what we've done we have this down here again but we want now to make the system uh, we want random drop to be something else so we're going to drag this out and it's still not updated so we're going to go in on custom variables and we're going to get local beetroot drop make sure it says, it says whatever you're called the second one out here and then we can copy the gem down to here and change it to beetroot seeds so now it will drop a beetroot seed if the beetroot drop, beetroot drop number is above 0 0.6, then it will drop a beetroot, and if the random drop is above 0 0.6, it will drop our new tomato seeds item. So you can take a look at this, this procedure right here, and I'm gonna save it, close it, and start the game up real quick. All right, so we're now in the game, and as you can see, when we break a grass, there we got a beetroot seed, and some more beetroot seeds, normal seed, of course, and we got some tomato seeds, so this is working perfectly fine. See if we can get all three types now, and you can, of course, set the, set the numbers a bit higher if you want the chance of it to drop a bit lower, so a high number, I'm going to display it on screen right now, but a high number drops less of it and the smaller numbers drop more of it but i guess that's all for today's video 
So that's how you make anything drop from grass in from vanilla Minecraft. So if you want more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any suggestions on what you want a tutorial on, leave it in the comments below and I'll take a look at it. And I'll see you guys next time.